teams with the hardest road to make it to the playoffs. Oh, Janae, you, you, I know you're excited about this. I know you are. <laughs> Ooh, we got, man, I can't wait to get to this list of teams that we have. Oh. <laughs> possible. Let's let's just get started. Okay, come on. Who's got an impossible mission, Sean? Who has an impossible mission to get to the playoffs? The Washington Commanders <laughs> started off the season one and four, uh, capped off with a loss to Tennessee on the last play of the game. We threw an interception in the red zone, Janae, and and into further my misery. I I was at the game. I was in it the whole time. I was yelling. I was getting the fans hyped. And on the last play, I said, you know what? Oh, I'm going to have this. We're going to get the game winner. It's going to be on film. Everybody's going to get to see it. And 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 yes, that's not what happened, Janae. We, uh, well, I, I'll just show you what happened. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Sean, real quick, though. Real quick. You are Ron Rivera with about a minute left, with 24 seconds left. Are you running the ball or are you throwing the ball? Are you taking three attempts with a minute left in the game or are you going to just run the ball? No timeouts, though. No timeouts. What are you doing, Sean? I, I, I'm being very honest with you. I'm going into the huddle. I'm calling two plays. Okay? The first play is we're picking the side of the line that we've been working best with, and we're following those guys, and we're bringing in our guy, Brian Robinson. We're giving him everything we got up the middle. Then, if that doesn't work, we go to the line of scrimmage. We call the second play that's already there, and it has to work there. But I got to give my guy a chance. I got to give my running back a chance. I'm sorry. We had 20 seconds. We had multiple plays. They, teams work with this. They do this stuff. The Bengals, or not the Bengals, the, uh, the Chiefs last year had 13, 14 seconds. Yeah. We saw what they did. It's possible. Okay? Run one, run two plays. You do a run and play first. You're at the two-yard line. If that doesn't work, you run back, you get the second place already been called, and you go with it. Let's go. Quinn, you know what I'm talking about, girl. This is what it is. Quinn got to watch that big upset. I just think that at the end of the day, Sean, you run the ball. You, It's one yard. It is one yard. And I think people think it's just easy to run a play with one yard and all that action going on in the middle of – the field is, I mean, in the middle of the end zone. It's very hard to try to run a play. I mean, hit anything of the Philly special. I mean, what well, anything, golly. Anything. You're going to try to run three offensive plays. I just think that they should have just ran the ball. Run the ball. Run the ball. The thing is, today, if it was just that, I mean, I wouldn't feel so bad, Okay. The fact that we were even in that situation was our fault from the begin with. If you go back to even that drive, we had to go for it on fourth down because we threw a pass to Sims, who, who we challenged. He drops the pass. We thought he caught it. If you look at that play, there is a wide receiver on the post going the other direction, wide open. Wide open. That sucks. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. We did this to ourselves. We were one of 11 on third down. We they we gave we, we st- shut them down. They were only four of eleven, but still we're giving so many opportunities away. Like we we we're killing ourselves. Yes, it was ridiculous. Absolutely. We we I, I don't know what to tell you, Janae. I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this. I can't. <laughs> I, it, it's depressing. I I can't. Every year, and this is the third year that we've started off crappy like this. It's, oh God. Now, do you think it's coaching or is it quarterback? What is it? 
Look, Scott Turner has there's, there's a problem with Scott Turner, offensive coordinator, because some of these play goals we I have never seen a coordinator call so many shotgun plays when we need a yard. Why are we stepping back five yards when we need one yard? I understand. Excuse me. I understand. Sorry. I understand. Secondly, secondly, why are we – Terry McLaurin didn't get a target or a catch until the second quarter. Very true. You pay this man over $20 million and you can't find a way to get him the ball? Multiple games that's happened like that. Do I need look? Do I need to pay for back, Quinn? I apologize. I know you're stressed. I'm stressed. <laughs> look, oh, oh, Cat said, "Do I need to pay back? I can loan you one." Cat, why, why, why are you doing this to me, baby? See this? <laughs> it's gonna be okay, Sean. I mean, do you see a way out? Do you see them turning it around? Do you see at least a 500 season? I mean, we're talking about you guys are one in four. I think everybody in the league has won a game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that means that you are tied up with a few teams, but do you think that you guys can make it to 500? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Look, at the end of the day, our running, our rush defense has been legit. I mean, two weeks ago, we held uh, Jalen Hurts and that rush offense under 100 yards. In fact, under 70 yards, if I'm not mistaken. Absolutely. We shut, we, you know, you guys killed us in the past, but like I said, we shut Zeke down. He only had 50. Pollard had like eight yards in that game. Very true. And this one, Derrick Henry got two touchdowns, absolutely. But we held him to just over 100 yards on the ground. Actually, as a matter of fact, I think we actually held him under 100 yards. I you know what I mean? Under 100 yards. But the thing is, are you going to be able to offensively keep it was up? 102. Yeah, it was 102. Yeah. No, but th that's can't it. Your defense, that's, but and that's defense going to be able to hold up. And that's the problem. That's the issue we have. Our own line is giving our quarterback two seconds to throw the ball. Carson Wentz is a drop back passer. He needs some time to look deep and do that. And even then, he has he holds on to the ball at times, and sometimes he he you know he he makes poor decisions. But you got to give him the opportunity. You got to give him time. So that's why we're running a lot of screens. We're running a lot of draws yeah. because we don't have the time. Look, our center, Rulier, is out potentially for the season. Yep. We just got Larson back, but our, we got two guards in, in Norwell and Trey Turner. Trey Turner we got from Pittsburgh. They didn't re-sign him. He, we benched him last week. Yep. Norwell is – I can't – I got nothing to say for him because he's playing like <laughs> – forget it. I'm not even going there. I'm not doing it, okay? Cosme, our, our uh, second-year guy, he's out. He's been out for this week and next week, so – I mean, we have issues all over that O line. Uh, our running game, we we didn't even get no, not one of our running backs had over twenty five yards. No, <sighs> we got to we're not dedicating any time to the running game. It, but look, it, I can talk all day about this. You know this, Janae and ladies and gentlemen. If you want to hear me talk more about this Wednesday night, let's let's Washington Football Weekly myself, Will Kramer, we will break this thing down. You will hear the passion, the rants, all of it. Because all absolutely, above. all of the above, <laughs> right? All of the above.